Hi, it's Joy. Welcome back to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today we're going to get into all kinds of St. Patty's Day shenanigans, which means we are using the St. Patty's Shenanigans stamp set. I love these little guys, but today we are using the one with the pot of gold. We are also using the Oh My God Word and Shadow die, the Cloud and Grass Edger die, the Array of rainbows, and the slimline shamrocks background die. Man, that's a lot of dies. And we're doing this all on an A2 card, which shows us that we can use our products for other things than what is intended. When I went to a retreat recently, the instructor mentioned that we could use markers to color our, car our cardstock like, duh, I do that all the time, right? But she said, why not just put some color down around the edges for the for your matting instead of buying color cardstock? You probably save a lot of money. You've already got the markers. It'll save you space. It'll save you money. And that's what I have decided to do. I am no longer buying solid cardstock. However, if that's something that you don't want to do, by all means, buy all the things, but uh, that's a decision I've made. So I started out using Olo markers, and I'm coloring the pot, and I started out by putting my shadows in the CG9, and then I blended it to a 7, and I used a 5, and that washed out. So here I'm using a tip-to-tip -tip method, where if you take the 5 and touch the tip of the 7, you get a mid-range color between those, and that really brought on the shine. So I find that that's a really good method if you're missing a color. Now with Olo's, I find that the lightest colors really wash out the dark. So I no longer start with the lightest color and move to the darkest because there's the flow of these markers are much faster. It's a more moist marker than like like say a Copic. So I start with my darkest color. So for the green suit for this leprechaun, I started out by using YG 8.7. My midtone was 8.5. Then my highlight was 2.3. And that was the same for the entire part of the suit. So where the shadows was, I used the 8.7. For the shirt, I used the cool grays and the three and the one. And then for this pot of gold, I I am actually um, disputing what I said earlier. I started with my 2.2, my yellow 2.2, put in the 2.3 and the 2.4. Then that darkest color was the YO 2.5, and that was really harsh. So I came back in with my Y 2.2, and it's kind of the same idea where if you use your colorless blender and you dot it, you get like a white spot, you kind of bleach it. So that's what I did to get the effect of the gold. And then I'm using some OR colors to do the beard. It's more of a um, kind of a reddish brown. Um, I did forget to tell you what colors those are. Um, I've already put them away, so I'm not sure which. Now I'm using black cardstock for the shadow part of Oh My God. And then I'm using white cardstock for everything else. I am using wet glue to put down the letters and oh my god and i find that using wet glue gives me enough wiggle room and time to get things on straight and i also find that using a jewel picker tool helps by all means if you can pick all the letters up and get them straight well without the assistance of a tweezers or a jewel picker then do it but i'm not that talented as you can see i even struggle um when i use the jewel picker Next, this is where I'm saying that we can use our markers to create colored cardstock. Instead of cutting out each of the rays in a different color, I chose different Olo markers in a red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And I make sure to saturate my papers. I'm not putting any mid-tones in there. I'm using one color and one color only. And I'm going in with a really heavy hand so that I don't have a lot of marker, um, like, like, light and dark splotches in there. Now, I didn't show you all the rays, but I think you get the idea of what I'm saying. 
I am using the black and white stripe paper from the Neutrals um, 6x6 paper pad and I am using that as a mat for the slimline shamrocks and those I, I cut those with 120 pound cardstock in hopes that they wouldn't all come out and I got very lucky so I only had to glue two of them in if you are interested in any of these whimsy products be sure to check the description box below they're all available and I'll have those listed for you but you're gonna see that I um, didn't really care if the top was 100% the same height because we're gonna cover that up so first I put down the rays and I use my wet glue again because um, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room and I line that up along the bottom and I don't care if it matches all the way to the top because we're gonna color we're gonna cover that with the clouds now I did use whatever was left on my uh, blue blending brush to add some dimension there and then I use my wet glue to put down the oh my god now here comes the part where I got really lucky I decided to emboss on my image that I've already fuzzy cut so I treated that with an anti-static powder tool and I stamped down the malarkey with a Versamark ink and used white embossing powder and I set that and then I put that right back into my misty thank goodness for a misty tool and lined up the, the year full of and I repeated the process now I'm popping up my uh, image on foam tape because I like dimension if you don't or you think that it's going to cost more to mail then you can leave that out but I'm a dimension girl and I'm loving the way this came out very simple and fun now I'm using some sequins from this cause for confetti it's the glazed lime and I start that in the bottom left corner and I work that up kind of diagonally so that it goes up to the oh my god that way you keep the eye moving that's just a little trick that I have learned along the way now I think it would have been really cute to use all different colors of sequins um, but green is my favorite color so that's what I went with I love all of the shimmer and shine so thank you for hanging out with us please consider liking subscribing leaving us a comment we love hanging out with you until next time have a great day I hope to see you again bye bye